Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we're practicing pulling information off of a table again. Um, the GED loves charts, graphs, tables, the um, data that's presented to you in various forms. So, well, you got to be pretty good at it. So let's take a look. The table gives information about the Yavapai County swim team. Now, at this point, you might be saying, Kate, I've done this problem with you a couple times already. Oh my goodness. There's that same stupid chart again. But um, guys, depending on what I ask you, I could ask you a hundred different questions about the same chart. If I were nasty, I could make the your entire GED test about the one chart. I mean, really. Um, but, you know, you, the GED is likely to give you two or even three questions about the same chart. So pay attention to what they're asking. So let's see. What are they asking? Let's continue reading. Based on the table, how many... Oh, I forgot my writing tool. Sorry. I wish I could edit these videos, but in the program I'm using right now, I can't. So y'all are going to get to deal with my drama. Okay, so finishing reading this. Based on the table, how many times as many meets would a teen participate in? than a child. So how many times more meets would a teen participate in than a child? What are they asking us? They're asking us how many times, so times what, is the teen's number of meets Then the children's. So the way I think of this is children times what equals teens. Children times what equals teens. So let's go and get the data that we need off the graph. We need to know how many meets a child participates in. So a child a meets per season is going to participate in four. But a teen participates in more. A teen participates in 12. And so my question to you is 12 is how many times more than four? And I have a lot of students who tell me eight. I have a lot of students who tell me two. Neither one of those answers makes sense to me. Think about it. Four times what uh, equals 12? Well, four times three equals 12. Alternatively, if you're an algebraic thinker, you could have done this problem by working backwards. The opposite of multiply is divide. So you could have started with the answer, 12, divided by the part I did know, 4, and you would have gotten back to that multiplication fact. That's th 12 is 3 times as much as 4. Either way you think about it, it's still good math, so of course it'll work. I um, hope that makes sense to you, um, and I am glad we got to cover this problem because it is one that tricks most students. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I will do my best to answer it.